right, guys. We got a rainy week ahead here in Nashville, and I have a few minutes, so I want to come out here and deadhead my salvias. I just planted them last month, but they were greenhouse grown. That's why there were so many blooms on them, as you'll see here. But this is a good time right now for me to trim them down so with all the rain they can flush back. So here we go. I know what you're thinking. There's a lot of blooms left on these. Why is she hacking the hell out of them? Because I know they're all starting to fade back as you can see. And even though these are bright purple right now and the few of them you see scattered through here, it's not gonna be by the end of the week and they're all faded. So me giving them a trim right now, they're gonna be so happy and flush back. And with the rain coming, this is like the perfect time. So I'm kind of happy because I just saw who my next door neighbor is. She pulled in as I was sitting out here doing my salvias. I'm excited about that because I didn't realize um, that she was the person that lived next door to me because sometimes she parks here and sometimes she parks around elsewhere. I'm really happy about it because now I know who she is and now I can say something and talk to her about seeing if she'd mind if I kind of play with her garden a bit too. I don't plan on going all full board on that or anything like that, but I like the idea of when my stuff gets big I can start leaning in that direction like I started a couple of those coneflower seeds once those get bigger in the fall maybe I'll put those over here we'll see but right now let's finish talking about my salvias so a couple of days ago I prepared some water with plant food for my container plants up here but we had really heavy rain last week and tornadoes you guys are maybe aware of that yeah i had everything i had my emergency bag packed and blankets and pillows and everything was set to go oh and it's starting to sprinkle i'm going to talk fast so anyway yeah i wanted to get all of these guys chopped down now well the blooms were starting to fade and what i did with the container water um the plant food water was i drenched all of these guys a couple of days ago so i don't mind that i trimmed them all down because they've got that plant food that's gonna really you know do well with the rain that's upcoming too so anyway yeah the, the cuttings might look kind of harsh but i'm really curious to see how they look next week i'm taking care of a lot of these little projects right now because i'm going to go up to michigan in a few days and visit my mom and my friends so this was my first project. I have a couple other, I have to separate my cone flowers and a f couple other things. I got a gift from my brother, a can of plant. It's called a Picasso and he's got one and it's just growing like ridiculous. I do want to show you one more thing before we move to the back porch here. Um, I mean, just look at how outstanding all of this stuff is doing. Um, here's my review. These were the lavender plants that I rescued, these three here. And um, they all look like they died. I'm not seeing anything happen, but whatever. I don't plant over here, so I'm just going to let them go. Maybe I'll be surprised. This is one I had from before. I'm probably just going to tuck it over there. I don't have my shovel out here with me, and there's not an urgency. So this will probably get taken care of next week. But what I wanted to show you was let's, let's peek over top of these dailies. See these guys here? See these here? You know what these are? These are my Mexican petunias. I was oh, kind of wondering if they were going to grow back because I wasn't seeing anything happen. And then one day I peeked behind these monsters here and I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited.
these are coming in the house. These are the coneflowers I'm going to divide. And let me show you this here. This was my Mother's Day present from Shane. She had started some coleus by seed, so I got a few new ones here. Actually, three of them. Look at that little baby. So uh, I got to look at my pots. This may be something I'm doing today too, but this guy's got to go. He needs bigger pots, so let's do it. I'll show you my review on my begonias. They're not doing anything. They're just sitting there doing nothing. They have sufficient water, no overall watering, no heavy sun. I mean, this is the closest I have to a flower. So I don't know what's going to happen with those. I asked Shane if she wants them if they don't survive or do well for me. So we'll see. I don't know. I, I have bad luck with begonias. I've had for years. This is probably the last time I'm going to try them. Here's one. Okay, we got one. Here we go. So these cone flowers here, they're going to stay in their pots all summer. I'm not going to do anything with these guys until the fall. I want to make sure they're big, strong plants before they go out into the garden because they're going to need some nurturing and I need to pay attention to the water and make sure they're pro properly drained. And everything that goes in the garden has to be able to stand alone. So right now we're getting a lot of weather or water, which is great, but we always have a drought at some point during the mid to end of the summer. And I can't be running outside with watering cans every day to make sure the babies last. So anyway, they're going to go out on the porch with all my container plants and we're going to watch them get big and you're going to see me plant them in October. So this is the pot I'm going to use for my cannas. My neighbor was cleaning out her gardening stuff and she asked if I could use them. Heck yeah, every single time. I, I'll find something to plant, right? I know, I got, I got a day where the hair is in the eye. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, these are the, uh, they're called ca canna Picassos. See? And look how pretty that is. So, so they're this orangey yellow color. Um, they almost look like, like Stella Doro Day lilies, don't they? But they have all of these speckles all over them. Uh, my brother was telling me that his are growing at ridiculous speeds. And so it's my turn to see what mine do. I should read the instructions to see how deep I need to plant these. But uh, let's see, spacing, depth, two to four inches. Okay, I can do that. I can do this. I could do that without a ruler and glasses. Hmm. Here we go. I'm going to save this here. I'll put that over there. Oh, I'm trying to be so gentle, you guys. There we go. What else is in here? Some leftovers. guys. Okay, so they said there were three. These are like, what, rhizomes? Is that what they're called? A word I read, but I don't know how to pronounce. They said three, okay, here we go. So this is one, this is the second one. You can see the little bit of green coming in here. And this one here, okay. So I probably put too much dirt in a pot. Does that look like there's enough dirt in there? I kind of feel like I should put a little bit more on here. It said, what? well, two to four inches. So that's easily two inches. So maybe I'm thinking too much. 
do just a little bit more and then I'll, I'll feel happy with that. I'm probably not going to water them because if I put them in the right place out front, um, they will get enough water on their own. So I don't want to overwater them. Um, my brother said he waters his every three or four days. So today is Monday. I'm leaving for Michigan on Friday. So I'm going to give everything a good soak on Thursday. So this is also a good time to um, share with you the luck I've had with my hyacinth bulbs. Um, none. No, no luck at all. So I had saved some from last season and I had talked about them through a number of videos and I tried replanting them. They started growing in January when we had a warm spell and I was like, oh crap, what's going to happen, right? And sure enough, I'm emptying out all of my pots of all the extra dirt and stuff and I'm, you know, just combining and I'm just filling up my pot with all of the pots of leftover soil. So... I dumped the hyacinths in there and I'm looking, feeling through and I'm looking for the bulbs and there were none. They had, I guess, just disintegrated. They powdered out there. You know, it makes me hesitant about what I'm supposed to do now because I have these. These are the ones from this year. So I have, um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine of these and the other ones, I don't know, you know, I don't know. I need, Maybe I need to watch some videos or something on what to do and how to store these to see if I can have luck with them next year. I don't know. You guys got any suggestions? I don't know what to do with them. So right now they're um, just drying out my water bucket, my water pitcher here. So that's the update on my hyacinths, which was like no good. back here for now.